<laughs> hey guys and welcome back to my channel um i know it's been a while once again i think it's been like two months since my last upload but anyways so today i wanted to make a what's in my clinical bag video um, i think i mentioned it during my last video that I was starting clinicals this semester. Um, so I actually did start, I started last week. And so I've had my orientation shift and I had my like nursing shadow shift. I actually have clinical tomorrow and after tomorrow, so Thursday and Friday. It's when I actually start doing like hands-on care with my patient that I was assigned. So I thought it'd be a good idea to do a what's in my clinical bag. So if we start with the bag itself, I think I have introduced this beautiful bag to you guys. It's a bag that um, this girl named Maddie's Journey or something like that. Um, that's her channel's name. She kind of started the whole trend with this bag and I actually got it off of Amazon. Um, I think I'm going to link everything that I've gotten online in the description down below or even the things that I didn't get online I'll probably try to find it on a website or something so on the outside of the bag I have my ID badge I'm not going to show you the front I also got this thing usually you can just attach it onto the badge reel but my ID card holder is a little bit too long so when i did attach it to my badge reel it wasn't showing so i just took like some double-sided tape and taped it to the back which seems to work fine i got this off of etsy i'll probably put that in the link down below as well and then i got this badge reel that came in a pack of quite a few off of amazon and also the um plastic like pouch for the id is off of amazon as well so now let's get into the inside of my bag um so the first thing i have is my eczema hand cream of course i have to have this everywhere with me because i'm constantly washing my hands or you know it's the winter ish so my hands are getting dry constantly i have gloves i always have my gloves on me because i'm constantly commuting and once again it's still the winter technically i have my coco vaseline this is also something i always have on me i'll either use it on my lips or if i just wash my hands sometimes i will use this if i don't have lotion on me although i have my lotion in this bag so i'll probably use it for my lips um after i wash my hands of course and then i have my wallet i don't really use or need my wallet because i have apple pay and i usually carry my driver's license on me but just in case i need to put my cash somewhere i have my glasses my sight isn't like that bad but i do need my glasses for reading off of screens or like farsightedness so i always have those on me because sometimes i get headaches from looking at stuff because i'm trying so hard to focus and then it doesn't work I have my little period pouch here with a bunch of pads and liners and tampons um you always gotta have that on you whether it's if you need it or a friend you know shit happens sometimes i also have this claw clip with an elastic attached to it i tend to use the scrunchie that's in my fanny pack that i'll show you guys later but um i like claw clips as well because it makes your hair look good so i have two locks and the keys to go for the locks one of them was for my lab although today was my last lab so i just took everything out of my locker and of course took the lock with me and then this is the one that i used for a clinical last week and i just have both of the keys on this one keychain i don't know if that's too smart but it works for me and if i lose it i lose it after that i have this notebook that, um i got for lab and clinical and from last lab from last semester i only have like one page and it's just general stuff about vital signs and then the rest is from my lab this semester i put it in my clinical bag just in case i forget things so it'll be really handy and it's small um i got it from dollarama when we were assigned our patients we were given their medications and like a summary of all their conditions and stuff so i did write that in there of course while keeping patient confidentiality so i have that on me in case i need to write notes or something and then i have this folder that also has documents from my lab just things that i've printed out um there's also some things we were given during our orientation in here just in case i need to put some papers somewhere i have this and then i have my med cards here they're my patient's medications i had to make med cards for all the meds that they take i put an elastic around them and then put it in a ziploc bag because i don't want anything to happen to them i spent a lot of time on those cards trust me and then i have the stethoscope case so it has my stethoscope 
I have a pen. These are my favorite pens, the ones that like have the four ink colors, like green, blue, red, black. Those are my favorite pens. I have a gel pen, a gel pen from Dollarama. And then I have this other pen that I got from when I got my hair dyed. Yeah, so that's what it looks like. It has that touch screen thing where if you don't want to use your finger, you can use that instead. And I also have this pen light for when you're doing your head to toe assessment and then you have to do the neurological assessment. I don't know if I translated that right. As you guys know, I study in French, so I am bilingual, of course, but there's just some stuff that I don't know if I'm correctly translating it so that's it for the things that are in my clinical bag i also wanted to show you guys what's in my fanny pack because i always have this on me and it's things that i would put in my bag if i didn't have a fanny pack you know so we're gonna start with the little pouch in the back and by the way i got this from blue notes from when i worked there uh i don't know if they still have them i got it a month ago but it's really good it's like a lululemon fanny pack dupe so just have my eyelash brush because I don't know if you guys noticed but I have my eyelash extensions done I'm on like week two right now so that's why they don't look too full and then um, I have my Blistex chapstick I did take a break from chapsticks for a while and just use Vaseline but I realized that that's not always convenient because I like to wash my hands before using Vaseline chapstick is good for when you don't have access to soap and water I could just sanitize my hands but I, I don't want to just sanitize my hands if I'm gonna be putting something on my lips you know and then I have this RK by Kiss hydrating lip oil which is really good I think you can just get this at the beauty supply store and after that in the big pouch I have some Kleenex I'm that girl who's always prepared for absolutely anything then I have my Dahlia perfume um I don't wear perfume or strong fragrances or any fragrance really when I go to the hospital so like I said I wear this fanny pack every day so there's things in there that I'll use when I'm not going to the hospital if that makes sense and then this is the scrunchie I usually wear I keep that in my fanny pack I used to have another one that looks like this but with like red stripes and I have no idea where it went but anyways and then my driver's license which I'm not gonna show you guys because it's ugly and also just like you know you don't want to put your ID on the internet and I have a haul this is in here from when I was sick that's what'll come in handy if I get sick again I have this almost empty Lysol spray I always use this when i go to the grocery store i don't know what's been on those carts um i don't know ever since the pandemic started i've been very 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 cautious when it comes to high contact areas yeah and then i have this burt's bees chapstick in here which i don't like at all i did use it for a bit and then i stopped using it because like other chapsticks it dries your lips out more than it helps which is the reason why i stopped using chapsticks for a bit but this is just in here because I haven't taken it out or thrown it out yet. And then I have my five gum. You know, you always gotta have gum on you because especially with those smells that are in the hospital, um, sometimes it helps under a mask. I believe this is the last thing. I also have my Purell hand sanitizer because once again, I'm very cautious about bacteria, germs, high contact areas, all that pizzazz. That's it for things that are in my fanny pack. And then moving on to other things that I bring to clinical with me is lunchbox, which I got off of Amazon as well. There's a pocket in the front, which has, I put the strap in it cause there's a strap that goes like that and you can put it over your shoulder, but I don't really use it. So I just kept it in there. It'll be there if I need it. Sometimes I'll put like my paper towels in there cause I always put a paper towel in my lunchbox. It's pretty spacious in this big pocket. I usually can put my container for my lunch in there and then a bunch of snacks and a drink and then i also have my beats of course because i cannot commute without listening to music i do still have my airpod pros although ever since i bought my beats i just prefer using my beats and i believe this is the last thing but my shoes if the weather is okay i will just directly wear my shoes to go to clinical otherwise i'll put them in a plastic bag and then just carry them in my hands and also sorry that wasn't the last thing this is the last thing um this nike water bottle because i always have to have water on me even though i don't drink as much water as i should but the water is there in case i need it so that's it for what's in my clinical bag if you guys have any questions feel free to comment down below I hope you guys enjoyed this video um hopefully i post soon i have a video planned although i'm not going to mention what it is in case i don't end up posting it because i think you guys know what you might know 
thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next video whenever that is bye Got me all up in my feels What? In no kind of place